everyone. Uh, this video is how to take a loan application within LendingPad. So the first initial tab within LendingPad that you will go to is the dashboard uh, whenever you log in to the LOS. So we're going to transition from the dashboard here and go directly to Pipeline. We are going to create a loan. Um, the channel, based off the channel that you're in, or if it's a leader loan, will populate here, create new loan. And then um, we will uh, create it. So let me see here. Actually, I think I need to create it as a lead. Sorry about that. John Mortgage. Gonna label it as no email. So you can see here we're just filling in the info, first name, last name, email. So you'll see required fields here. We can do this as a TBD. So this will do a local Google search of your area, wherever you're at. If you know the exact um, street address, you can see it's a very nice feature. So I am just going to do this as a TBD here. Right, so I'm going to save this. And I'm just going to select an example campaign. It's just going to be showed as campaign. So the loan will be created right now, as you can see. Um, and this is the view of the file within LendingPad. So um, as far as taking an application, it's very easy. We're going to be spending the majority of our time right in here. Um, but I am going to flag this as a um, as a specific um, loan type and down payment amount. So just want to um, update that first, and then we'll go through how it's dynamic, and then you'll understand why I updated that before. So just clicking in terms and mortgage here, we're going to use an example appraised value. So let's just say appraised value, 400K, uh, the down payment amount, let's say 20% down. Uh, the loan type you're going to see down in program. So again, I'm under terms and mortgage right now. And I'm just adding this. So you can see the loan to value, combined loan to value, all of that. And then you're going to see the DTI update instantly before um, later. I'm sorry. Um, once we go through the loan application. So just wanted to have that loan amount and the loan to value in there. And then you can see the details update. So right here is our loan application. Um, the loan application, um, a few nice features that we've recently added. The menu bar is over here to the left side of the screen. So let's state that I'm a loan officer and if I want to get to employments quickly, we can navigate it here. This is quick navigation, employments, assets, liabilities. So it's very quick as far as getting to those features there. So I just wanted to mention but as you can see, it's a top-down workflow. You can scroll up and down. And just going here, we have this classic view, which a lot of our users use. And we have the URLA form, which is a great feature we have as well, where you can actually just key in the URLA. Uh, we got feedback that a lot of our users wanted to see you know, an actual URLA form. So that's exactly what you're seeing right here. You just click Edit URLA Form, and then you fill in the info. Um, so it 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 maps directly through to that form. And we've gotten great, great feedback on that, you know, as far as the standard URLA. So you can just key it in there. But just going through this and going through the classic view and quick navigation, let's go to employments here and let's just add an employer. So we're taking the application. Let's state, you know, they work at Amazon, work on my spelling there. They're an IT, uh, their start dates. And let's add their income at 120,000 a year. So that would be 10,000 a month. We have the income integrity that breaks it down hourly, weekly, bi-weekly, semi-monthly, monthly, annually here. So you can edit it. Look at how the DTI is 15.28. So if we use less income, naturally, oh, less income, naturally the DTI will go up 20.37 more income, naturally the DTI would go down. So very quick in and out of the same browser. And as you can see within the UI, you can change the color themes. If green is a acceptable credit score, um, 
may be read as no credit or the credit's too low. So that's just an example. Loan to value is a good example of that. And so is DTI here. So I just wanted to mention. So um, just going through the application, you know, we leverage quick navigation to get to employments. Personal information here, this is where you would take a lot of the info from the client. So if the client already completed it with the point of sale, um, you can update it here and just reconcile it. The social info, if you don't have the correct amount of info, it's in red. If you do, it's in green. Birth dates, again, this is just an example, updating that living address. The past two years, again, this is just an example of an address here. Um, and the residency, if they own rent, so if they own and if they live there for three years, we have our two years covered. So very quick as far as going through the application and updating that info. So the personal info, the addresses, the employments, the income. Now to assets here. So the assets is where you would update the bank account information as far as who they are banking with. Let's just call this example bank. You can put in their account number there and the cash value as far as how many assets they have, the value of the assets in there. 130,000, again, that's just an example, and click save, and you see it autofills here. Now, the liability items next will populate directly from the credit report. So credit is ran and the liabilities do populate. So I'm just gonna add a liability as an example. Oh, it looks like I clicked on inquiry, sorry about that. It's gonna add a liability. And we are going to call this mortgage company. So, you know, if it's whoever the bank is, you know, the creditor would populate there. Mortgage payment, let's state it's $2,300 a month. Outstanding balance, let's state, you know, $350. And then click save. Now, you're going to notice how, like, all of the liabilities, like I mentioned, if it's credit, income, um, sorry, um, all of the liabilities, if it's revolving credit, if it's, um, you know, let's state it's a credit card, um, you know, a um, any other type of lien, um, an auto loan, any mortgages, they would all show here as far as within the liabilities. Now, you can link a mortgage liability directly through to a real estate owned. So you can add an REO here. So I'm in the next portion. Again, it does a local Google search of your area. And again, you can attach this directly through, let's state it's an investment property. You can attach this liability, the liability previously that you saw directly through to the real estate owned here. You can attach it, you can pay it off. Um, if it's a rental, you know, you can input in the rental income, you know, which would obviously help uh, your DTI if you have rental income. So you can see the monthly payment amount, 2300 and the liabilities. Again, all of the liabilities from the credit report will populate here. You can link it to a real estate owned right here. And then as you see here, just look at the DTI at 31.90. And if we use um, more income here, you're going to see 2400 click save. We have a positive net rental of 100 and just going back to that, as you can see, the DTI is lower now. It's 12.63. So very quick and updating that there. So again, I'm still within the loan application right here. And we are at REO Loan and Property Info. This maps out a lot of the info from Overview tab. So just using this as an example, once you do have the subject property address, you can validate it against US Postal Service. So this is just an example and it's a validation. Works very well. Um, if you want to update the down payment amount, the units, all of that here, you can do that as well. So just wanted to mention that. Um, this AVM check here is a Zillow integration. So um, Zillow is a marketing site, but obviously it provides some nice property info. Um, if you want to um, see what it's listed for on Zillow or possibly what it's sold for, if it's a purchase, obviously very beneficial right here. And then the declaration info. All of these questions are standard. You just hop edit in here and update all of the questions. You know, the bankruptcy questions, if yes, identify the type of bankruptcy. So very quick, as you can see, and then just updating that. Going down here to the demographic information, completing this for the application, the nearest living relative. 
military service. Um, if they are separated, spousal VA benefit eligibility here, all of these items update income asset verification and obviously counseling. So this, what you saw me go through, is the loan application within LendingPad. It's very easy to complete the app, reconcile the application. And just remember, not only leveraging this quick navigation through this classic view up here, but you can edit the URLA and then complete the standard URLA here. And we see that once this application is taken, then the actions get ran. And this is where the heavy lifting gets done for the file, credit AUS and all of that. We do appreciate your partnership and we look forward to helping you take numerous loan applications within LendingPad. Thank you and have a great day.